day-to-day living here was just running around with the fellas, you know, getting loaded, hanging out, you know, gang banging. We had no clue. We really thought that this was our life, this is what we do, and it's not a big deal, and doesn't everybody do this? From then on, I felt this is what I'm looking for, to make someone proud. 13 years old, and I remember getting jumped into a gang. And jump you, it's like, you know, you're getting the snot beat out of you. I remember a 14-year-old kid, um, you know, he was with my brother. They, they went out on the streets to buy some crack, and they shot, basically blew half his head off with a shotgun. And, and I remember just thinking, like, man, this is, this is fake. This is, not, this is not real. I don't ever remember as a child ever someone saying, look, there is hope. You know, you're a member of a gang. There are certain things that you have to do for membership. My character as a gangster was just was, was building, you know, um, uh, pride. I want to be the toughest guy in the neighborhood. It's almost like earning your stripes, you know, and, and earning status. In this neighborhood, what you're taught here is you haven't done nothing if you haven't been to the joint. You go to the joint, you've arrived. All the gangsters go to go from juvenile hall to camp to YA, you know, to uh, county jail and to the prison. That was my goal. And I didn't realize at a young age what it was really costing me until I got older. I looked back and I realized that I had a whole path behind me of just destruction. Man, we were just so confused, so hurt. We didn't have answers, you know, to why these things were happening. We were trying to cope with it the best that we knew how. I don't want to live like this no more. I want to change. <laughs>